Marcus Rant. You know, if there's one thing that irks me more than anything, it's these vegans and vegetarians who feel that they're healthier than other people. They're most, they have these superior attitudes. They look down on other people. They don't realize vegan and vegetarian does not mean healthy. Bread, pasta, cereal, cookies, crackers, baked fried stuff, pizza is not natural. It's not healthy. Some of the unhealthiest people I've ever seen are vegans and vegetarians. Okay, I don't believe in the killing of animals. I think it's cruel. It's unnecessary. If we were out in nature in the middle of nowhere in a survival mode, maybe that's where it came from. But this is the modern world. We can go 50 feet to a grocery store and get anything that we want that's edible. And we don't need to kill animals anymore. It's not necessary. And there are some bad things about eating animals. For example, if you were to eat an animal larger than yourself, like a cow, it naturally has hormones and steroids in itself that make it grow to be 2,000 pounds. And if you eat an animal like that, then you you have these growth hormones and steroids which make everything inside you grow very quickly like cancer and stuff like that. And then there's these animals that are raised of course in factory farms. They're totally unhealthy. They all have cancer. They're all fed crap. That's not natural. So of course you're going to get sick and unhealthy if you eat that. But that's not the issue here. The issue is vegan and vegetarian does not mean healthy. And it's not because of not eating animals. It's because of what you are eating. It's processed dead food. It's not even food. It's crap. You know, I could go on for days why bread is bad for you. Flour. Most grains are really hard for humans to digest. And in my book, Heal Yourself 101, I write the major things that people do wrong, even when they go into raw food. The thing that they do is they go for the sweet stuff. They go for the desserts, the, the cheesecake that, that's made out of cashews. They go for chocolate. Even in the raw food world, people are going for the comfort foods. Most of them are into fruit and good tasting stuff, but they don't eat enough greens. They don't need to eat enough of the stuff that you're, that if you in nature. Most of the stuff, look, look at a tree. Half the tree is green, half the tree may be fruit. Look at monkeys, chimpanzees. They eat half fruit, half greens, and some nuts and seeds, and maybe some ants and stuff. But the point is, half their diet is green stuff. Most of the people that claim they're healthy, they don't eat half their diet of green stuff. They eat all the, the comfort foods, the vegan, vegetarian, raw comfort foods. There's nothing wrong with fruit, but uh, my opinion is if you don't have enough greens in your diet, if you don't have enough balance of everything, there's going to be an imbalance down the road somewhere and it's going to show up somehow. Your teeth are going to rot out, your hair is going to fall out, hypoglycemic issues, I don't know. The point is you need a balance. You need, a, you need a, an equal balance of everything, not all the way over here, or not all the way over there. Vegan and vegetarian is a great direction to go in. It's the right step in the right direction, but please do not claim that you are healthier than other people. People. Do not claim that you are better than other people other than maybe that you're not killing animals, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about your health. Some of the most obese people I've ever seen are vegetarian. People dying in their 40s and 50s that are vegetarian or vegan and they don't know why. How come I'm so sick and ill? I'm a vegetarian. <sighs> And then there's the issue of cooking and heating your food. We're the only species in nature that cooks and heats its food. And we're the only species on the planet that gets all the diseases we get. Animals out there don't get most of the diseases we get unless they eat food made by man or garbage left over by man. Heating your food, something happens to it. I don't want to have to get into the enzyme issue and all that, but the point is you take an apple and you plant it in the ground, you're going to get an apple tree. But if you bake that apple, if you heat the apple, if you cook it, fry it, boil it, and plant it in the ground, Nothing. It's dead. You've killed it. Heat kills the life force in your food. That's what vegetarians do. They have this highly refined food, pizza made with soy cheese, and they have this imitation fake meat made from hydrolyzed soy protein, which is basically MSG. I mean, they, they eat crap, and then they get sick and they wonder why. Yeah, I'm vegetarian. I'm vegan. I'm better than you. You know, like... <laughs> All right, whatever. You know, I mean, you're, you're going to find out soon enough how much better you are than other people. Eat things from nature the way you find it in nature. Man thinks it's so great. It can do better than nature. It can improve upon nature. Anything you, nature's already perfected it. Anything you do is just going to lessen the perfection that nature has already got. The more you veer off into processed pasteurized world, 
the more you veer off into sickness and disease. I'm trying to help you here. You want to be healthier, eat things you find in nature the way you find it in nature. All right, then there's the issue of blending. Well, that's what your mouth does if you chew enough. Most people don't chew enough. They, they're too much in a hurry. So a blender helps you pre-digest your food. Juicing. Nah. If you're gonna juice, juice greens, not fruit, because fruit juice concentrates the sugars too much. But the main thing is get the healthy greens, fruits, nuts, seeds, vegetables into your body in the form that it's naturally found in. As far as powders go, if you were to dry something, if you were to like put a plant out in the sun, it would dry and it would still have life force. You plant it in the ground, it would still grow into something. Anyway, so here's my rant. The good news is you don't have to give up your pizza, your Pop-Tarts, your macaroni and cheese, your creme brulee. That's why Kara and I created the Uncookbook, Love on a Plate. Because we don't want to stop that food either. We love it, we grew up with it, we're addicted to it. So we spent years figuring out how we could have natural plant foods, vegan, <laughs> that tasted and looked like the stuff that we're addicted to, but healthy versions of it. It's not heated over 118 degrees. It's minimally processed, and it looks and tastes just like the real thing. So there's always a way out. There's always an answer. You just have to kind of be resourceful and look for it, and don't just keep following what everybody else is doing. Blaze your own trail. It's fun to have challenges. It forces you to come up with new ways of doing things. So our challenge was be healthy, don't kill animals, don't kill ourselves in the process, and have fun and not give up on the foods that we love. We're eating chocolate cake, we're eating creme brulee, we're having garlic naan, we're having pizza, but no wheat, no flour, no gluten, no nothing that's baked in an oven. Nothing boiled, nothing heated, nothing whatever. And we even have sushi that looks and tastes just like real raw fish and rice. And there's no rice in there. So there you go. Marcus once again comes through with the answer for a big problem. Thank you, thank you, please. You may continue with your day now. Now go do the right thing. <laughs>